Wang Men, what's wrong with Mahai Muga? He went to my mother's office this afternoon and had a huge fight with her. I asked you here to talk about it. It's because Muga was worried and didn't make things clear. He wanted to apply for the construction of a base station in Gumo. He went there to talk to her and they argued. No matter how stressed he was, he shouldn't argue with my mother. She just came back and gave me a really hard time. And you were involved. She said people that have something to do with Wang Min are trouble. <sighs> it seems like she's got a problem with me. But the others are different. You think they're different. But in her opinion, when it comes to Gumo and Wang Min, she's not happy. Oh. It seems your mother doesn't understand me. Huh. Well, I'll invite her for dinner and have a quiet talk with her. Hmm. Well, do it soon, okay? The sooner the better. Hmm. Oh, so uh, what did she say about the base station at Gumo? She said it should be built. My mother never said no to the construction. That's why she was angry. But she said the uh, construction needs research, discussion, and a field visit. Let me tell you, building a base station isn't like Lego. It can't be done in a day. It takes a long time just to lay the cables. Why can't Muga accept this? He can. Of course he can. Muga just doesn't know much about this kind of stuff. Well, Jolin. When you go back, talk to your mom, calm her down. Tomorrow I will go to her office with Muga and apologize to her. Should be both of us. We should sort it out together. Okay. I better get back. If I go back later, my mother will fall asleep. Uh, oh, take it easy. Why not have a drink? <laughs> no need to order. I'll just take a sip of your coffee. Mmm. <sighs> My dear, I've helped you a lot. What's in it for me? <laughs> We're in public. What does that matter? You're my wife, I don't care. I gotta go. Mm, take care. Bye-bye. Uh. Let's go. Oh, oh, wait. Do you know what to say? Apologize, I know. Don't look like that. That's not apologizing. Remember, apologize properly. You've got to be sincere. You've got to look her right in the eye. The key is to show you mean it. Just treat her the way that you would treat Shiwe. Treat her nicely. Be gentle. Got it? I am very gentle. But I don't have much experience in apologizing. I think you're better than me. How about you go instead of me? I can wait outside. <laughs> don't be stupid. I'm serious. And so am I. Are you ready? Sure, let's go. <laughs> I'm telling you, if we're getting a network soon, it will depend on you. Be gentle. Let's go. Come on, come on, my girl. Follow me. Can you cut it out? Be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. Smile. Can I help you? We're looking for Miss Lou. Do you have an appointment? Uh, uh, no, we don't. But, uh, I came here yesterday. Today, I've, I've come to apologize to Miss Lou. Can you help us out? I'd like to, but Miss Lou isn't in. No problem. We can wait here. Uh, she won't be back today. On a trip? She's on leave. 
How long? Annual leave, about ten days. Ten days? What is she doing? Huh? What a coincidence. She's on leave. Annual leave. Huh. She's deliberately avoiding us. No way. I I'll go to her boss. Forget it. I don't think you understand. Ms. Liu is in charge. The most important documents need to be signed and approved by her. There's no other way. Hmm. Just wait. Wait a few days. When she goes back to work, your application can go through. But when will you get the network? I've said before, haste makes waste. And we can ruin a plan if we're impatient. And when we go to work, we should try to smile. A smile can bring success. All right, stop it. I know you blame me. I admit, it's my fault. I'll take care of it. I'll sort it out. How will you do that? Uh... I'll find out where she's gone and go and apologize. Don't go chasing her. She is a leader. She'll want privacy. Don't go around her house and annoy her. That will make it worse. I suggest you just go home and wait until her vacation is over. I can wait, but our village can't. We've got no more time. <laughs> Can I help you? <sighs> oh, I'm just looking around. This is a private office building. You need to go. Uh... Did you see Jolin yesterday? Hmm. Yes. Don't be angry if I tell you the truth. I don't think you two will last. I can't help it. I still love him. You and Jolin almost broke up. So then, how will you get on with his mother? If you can't get along with her and Jolin listens to her, then what? Divorce? There's gonna be trouble. Actually, his mom is okay. She used to be nice to me. Then I realized, it's my fault I didn't look after things. You know, when Jolin was hospitalized, I hardly went to the hospital. I didn't stay, I didn't take care of him. As his mother, she didn't want a daughter-in-law like that. It's not your fault. If you didn't go to Gumo to fight for welfare, what would happen? I don't blame anyone else. It's my choice. I believe that everybody has a good heart. As long as I can be okay with his mom, I believe that they'll forgive me. Goodbye, ma'am. 
Follow me to wonder, wonder. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, Miss Lou, I'm cleaning your car. Who asked you to clean my car? I, uh, I, uh... Tell me, why are you following me? I saw you when you came to my house. Why are you following me? What on earth do you uh, want? I just want to apologize to you. Apologize? I was very rude yesterday. I went back and thought about it. I was, uh, in the wrong. I shouldn't have been angry at you. So I went to your office to apologize to you, but they said you're on vacation. So I just had to follow you. I advise you not to follow me. You're invading my privacy. Do you understand? Oh, sorry, Miss Lou. Uh, uh sorry. Uh, Miss Lou, listen to me. Uh, please forgive me, okay? What are you talking about? I, I want to apologize to you, really! Hey, and talk to you about building a base station. Listen, I'm on vacation. If it's a work matter, wait till I get back to work. Oh, Miss Lou, uh, don't be angry. Can we just, just talk about it? Right? Right? Hey, 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 hey! Oh. Uh, oh, you're here. Finally, I'm stressed. What's wrong? What are you worried about? You argued with my mother yesterday. Is it my turn? Oh, uh, no way. I just wanted to apologize to your mother. But I, I, I can't. Uh, did you know your mother is on annual leave? Of course I know. When we had breakfast, she said she was going to the Maldives or... No, 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 please don't let her go to the Maldives. Uh, unless she insists. But before she goes, can she make an exception for us and approve our network application? After it's approved, our travel agency will be able to develop tourism. Everything will be fine. She can go on vacation and then uh, we... Are you crazy? Huh? How's this gonna work? My mom's got it all planned. She is so excited, but just for you, she's gonna go back to work? You're joking. I know. It's impossible if I ask her. But, but you're different. That's why I came to you. If you ask her... I think it might be possible. It's hard. Well, don't do it for me. You have to do it for Wong Min. All right, you won't do it for Wong Min's sake. I'll go back and tell her. Just for Secretary Wong Min, I talked to my mother until 3 a.m. last night. What happened? Nothing. Muga, I can't help you apologize. But I can give you some advice. What is it? Come. What you need to do is... Muga. Oh, you scared me. You're still awake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Want a drink? Uh, sure, come and sit. I heard your tourism cooperative is up and running. You're right. I really should say thank you. Thank you for reminding me about the cooperative. Uh, I'm serious. <laughs> when I help you, I help myself too. Gumo is now the most important station on my tourist route. My clients love to visit your village. I'm very pleased. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> uh, drink up. By the way, you're talking cooperation with Ms. Lee. With Ms. Lee's fiancé, Huang. He's asked me to invest in some e-learning projects. By the way, can I make a suggestion? Sure. I heard Gumo used to be good at handicrafts, like the Yi's lacquerware is famous all over. Oh, that was a long time ago. Well, the most important thing with tourism is to have distinctive features. I think your village needs this stuff. The Yi lacquerware can be one of your features. Well... When you go back, try to start something. I can invest. Mom. Here, I'll go to the market with you. What's wrong with you today? Huh? Why do you want to come shopping with me? It's the weekend. I'm free. I come to the market with you and we can relax. This isn't your style. On weekends, you're lazy and always get up late. Mom, I, I want to try something different and hang out with you. <laughs> Let's go. Go. Huh. Huh. 
<laughs> Son, what would you like for lunch? Fried potatoes with green pepper and eggplants. Uh -huh. Okay. How much are these tomatoes? Uh, three you want a kilo. How about this? Two and a half. Uh, they're not fresh. Uh, we'll look around. For others? They're fresh. Look pretty old. Green beans. Green Hi beans. Hi there, try the beans. Who wants cucumbers? Uh, me. <laughs> they're fresh. Oh. Well, how many? I'm just looking, okay? Yeah, buy I'm some. Come on. Thanks anyway. Muga? Oh, it's you, Secretary Joe Lin. Hey. Oh, what a coincidence. Right, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? Oh, buying vegetables. What are you doing here? Well, I'm selling vegetables. I help villagers sell vegetables. Ah. Oh, my mother and I. Uh, this is my mother. This is the director of Gumo Village, Mahai Muga. Miss Lu. Uh, I know her. <laughs> We have met before. Right, right. right. Met right, before? Right. What a coincidence. Uh, madam, uh, what would you like? They are all organic. No pesticides, no pollution. They look fresh. Boss, give me three cucumbers. Three cucumbers, here you go. Four tomatoes. Uh, four tomatoes, okay, here they are. And two eggplants. Eggplants, eggplants. Two eggplants. Oh, look how fresh they are. <laughs> what else do we need? Well, uh, summer squash is good. Okay, okay. Two summer squashes. Put them together and weigh them. Yep, yeah, yeah, just put them together. A uh, bus. Uh, how much do you want? Uh, six you want. Six you want? It's too cheap. Uh, well, uh, all these vegetables are grown by my villagers. Uh, no profit. You can come here any time to buy vegetables. Huh? They're green, safe, and cheap. Mom, what a nice guy, huh? Keep the change. Yeah, keep the change. Tell him my name next time you come. Four you want. Here you are. I'll put them in the basket for you. Mocha, this is what I can do for you. Come to my house for some tea and have a chat with my mother. Muga, thank you. You help us carry so much stuff. We're home. Right. Muga has been helping us all morning. Mom, how about inviting him in for some tea? You know, just to say thanks, okay? Uh, is it okay? <laughs> of course it is! Come on! <laughs> Come in, come in, come in. Yeah, come on. Wow, what a nice place. Uh, come here, sit down. <laughs> you have a big fish tank. Uh, where should I put these? Uh, well, shall we wash them? Uh, okay, wash them. All right, stop, stop. Have some fruit, Mom, take it easy. Stop, stop, wait. Sit down. Uh, what's up? Sit down. Put it down and have a seat. Sit down, sit down. Put it down. Put it down. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, Mom? Jolin, Muga. Now, tell me the truth. Muga didn't meet us by accident back there, did he? Mom, well, we... Don't make it up. This encounter this morning was set up and planned by both of you. How could that be? We can't... Yes. We planned it. Uh, <sighs> because... Uh, Secretary uh, Jolin... He decided to help us. Um, mm. He thought Gumo Village is in a tough place. Right. Uh, it's hard for the villagers. Uh, the same with First Secretary Wong Min. Uh, and he knows I shouldn't have annoyed you. Uh, I need an opportunity to apologize to you. And I... He's telling the truth. Mm. Yes, right. Oh, really? So... Have you quite finished? Uh... Then you can go. But, Mom... Well, Muga is apologizing to you. You shouldn't speak to him like that. Muga is a friend and a guest. He helped us out a lot. And if you talk to him like that, it means we'll lose a friend. Yeah. Hey, keep out of this! Apologize! Uh, uh, right, 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 right. Oh, uh, right. Uh, Ms. Lou. Uh, no, no, Aunt Lou. Huh? I shouldn't have upset you. You don't know, but I haven't been able to sleep since I'm really worried. I'm afraid that the construction of the whole village could be delayed because of me. Please, 
Please forgive me. Uh, don't lower yourself to the same level as me. Uh, please, accept my apology. I'm sorry. You see? Please forgive him. Huh? All right. You two have a chat. I'll make lunch. <laughs> thank you, Mom. Uh, thank you, Aunt. Go and help her. Hurry oh, up. Right, right, right. Yeah. Just talk to her. That's how I can help. Thank you. I'll buy a beer. Uh, Aunt, oh, let me help you. <laughs> Muga. This is your first time in my house. You really don't need to do all this for me. Oh, uh, don't say that. Uh, I do the housework at uh, home. Uh, that's my job. <laughs> no big deal. With a good partner like you, you must make Wang Min's job easier. Uh, no, it's not like that. It didn't go well at first. I am clumsy. Although I'm the acting director, I'm not so smart. But following uh, her advice, uh, I got used to the job and uh, got on the right track. <laughs> uh, I'll wash them. No, I'll no. I'll leave it to me. <laughs> it's okay. So, what is Secretary Wong Min like then? Oh, it's rare to find such a uh, good uh, First secretary. That's what we all think. She is intelligent, pretty, and kind. Uh, mainly, she's very uh, clever. And she comes up with these, these great ideas to help the development of our village. Uh, usually on her own. <laughs> so in our eyes, Secretary Wang Min and Secretary Zhou Lin are a good match. A perfect match. <laughs> Here, let me do that. Oh, it's okay. I can manage Leave it. Leave it to me. Auntie. Uh... I know you may have some, uh, negative opinions on, uh, uh Secretary, um, Wong Min. A am I right? But, but I think you may may have misunderstood her. Well, she's a good woman. It's not that she didn't care about Secretary Jo Lin. She cared a great deal, but she just had no time. You know, there are a lot of problems in our village. There are all kinds of things that she has to sort out. Secretary Jo Lin worked in our village before. You know how hard th the work is, don't you? Although she's only a young secretary, she's really competent. She won't back away from all the hard work. She's always first to arrive when we have problems. You know, without her, our village couldn't have developed so well. So all the villagers feel very grateful to her and treat her like family. Uh, sorry I'm going on, I'm just chatting. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt. Welcome, Muga, to our home. You must come often. Uh, I will. Thanks. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Aunt, uh, please try the, the, the fish and beef. Uh, have a try and see if you like it. Mm. It's good. Really? Mm. Aunt, I see you like painting. You have lots of beautiful paintings. So beautiful. <laughs> Muga, look carefully. Are they paintings? Yes, they're paintings, right? They're all photos. They're all the pictures taken by my mother. She used to work in development, near mountains and rivers. No way. Of course, take a look. Huh. Are these all taken by you? Yeah. They're so great, just like calendars or posters. The pictures are too small, really. And reprinting the colors doesn't work. Mm. Oh, these colors are great. Great pictures. Come and enjoy the food. Come here and take a seat. Oh, I didn't realize. You're a photographer, too. That's true, Muga. That picture of clouds over Chonghai Lake in the Ninghai Hotel? My mother took that. It won first prize in the photography competition. I was so proud to go with her to pick up the prize. Oh, 
That was your photo? Yes. This picture is a symbol of Ninghai City. Uh, everyone knows it. Right, a symbol. I'd like to propose a toast to you. I really admire you. We are all proud of you. Uh, cheers, Auntie. <sighs> what a surprise. Mm. Are you still taking pictures? Nowadays, I'm not in the country, so I rarely take pictures. What a pity. You are so good. Right. Uh, you shouldn't give it up. It would be a shame. Yes. Mm. Well, well, how about... Well, you're on vacation. For ten days, aren't you? Yes. So, how about coming to Gumo Village? The scenery there is wonderful. It's very beautiful, and there's a lake. A very beautiful lake. Right now? Yeah. Why not, Mom? I think that's a great idea. Let's all take a trip up there. But I have to make arrangements. I'll sort it all out. Yes, Muga can manage it all. You've got a long vacation, so you can go there with him. And I work there, trust me. The scenery is amazing, just like your stuff. Oh, you can go with us. I have to work in the afternoon. Muga, make sure you take good care of my mother. Of course. And Oh! Well, what do you think? Great! The air is so fresh! <laughs> you don't get this in the city, right? Not at all. Look how high the clouds are. <laughs> yeah! We're nearly there. It's over that hill. Right there. This road is very smooth. Uh, this is the road that Secretary Wong Min had us build before the Torch Festival. Oh! Secretary Wong is really something. She built a 10-kilometer road in just that time? Yes! <laughs> what do you think? It's so beautiful. Beautiful. It's really good for me to come here. Great! Take more! Take more! Huh? Here, here. Over there. See that, huh? You see the horses and sheep? Beautiful. Take some more, and show the world. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hey, what's that over there? Oh, that's Kumo Village. We'll go down later. All right, uh, think about it. Okay, Wang Min, I will. Okay. Goodbye, goodbye. Uh, take care, uh, take care. Moga! Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna ask my father to prepare some food. Well, who's coming? <sighs> Lu Mingxia. And Lu is coming? <laughs> yes. Where is she now? Well, I can't talk right now. I gotta get back. Where is she? Well, she's uh, uh, taking pictures over there on that uh, that hillside. Secretary. Huh? Secretary. Uh, I'm not quite clear about this co-op form. Can you explain it to me? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Come with me. So, for the voluntary membership and the free withdrawal thing here, what do I put? I got here first this time. Hello? Hold it higher. Brother! It's Wuha. What? Hello? Hello? Hold it high. Hello? Oh, it's a lousy signal. It doesn't work, right? I, I must be holding it wrong. Hey. Hi there. Are you both from Gumo Village? Yeah. I'm Ache. He's Wuha. Are you a tourist? She must be a tourist. She's got a camera. Ah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you having trouble with the phone? <laughs> Tell me about it. Thing is, there's still no network signal in Gumo. We can't get online, send WeChat messages, or, or even calls. If we want to make a call, we have to come here and stand right here on this rock. Oh, uh, that's hard work, isn't it? Not just hard work, but it can be fatal. <sighs> Last year, Tuga's grandpa had a heart attack in the night. He had the phone in his hand, but he couldn't make a call because of the signal. 
when Tuga returned the next day, his grandfather had died. If there was a phone signal in the village, it wouldn't have happened. So how come you haven't spoken to the telecom company earlier? We did. We did apply a long time ago. After we wrote to them, they said they had to research, study, and conduct field surveys, and asked us to wait. We waited, and nothing has been done. Ah, <sighs> that kind of attitude really needs changing. Sister, if only people who cared were in charge of the network, the signal problem in our village would have been fixed long ago. She's a nice woman. Madam, would you like to stay in my inn? I'll give you a special uh, discount. Uh, uh, hey, what are you doing? We are chatting with the tourist. Right, this lady must be important. What do you call her? Sister, she's traveling around here. This is Miss Liu of the Engineering Department of China Mobile. Really? Huh? Oh, oh I knew it! Right. <laughs> she's the boss of China Mobile! Oh, you shouldn't be carrying that. Come on, let me help you. No, no, no. Oh, give it to no. me, Aja. Give it to Aja. Sister, Miss Liu, no, aunt, aunt. Oh, no, give me your bag. Yeah, give it to me. Uh, aunt, uh, come to my house for a rest, okay? Okay. You didn't talk nonsense, did you? No, we didn't. And take care. <laughs> Come on, let's go, guys. Sis, no. Secretary Wong, look who's here. here. Secretary Wong. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to uh, pick up my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard about your setup with Muka. She's taking pictures outside the village. You knew what Muga and I did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was good. My mom is always under a lot of pressure. It's good for her to come out here and just take pictures. Thank you. You're welcome. She's my mother and your future mother-in-law. <laughs> As your future husband, well, I should be here to help you. And you asked me to chase you again. And well, this is my first step. <laughs> All right, we're in the office. There's nobody here, it doesn't matter. Let's go find your mom. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't know that you were Secretary Jolin's mother, uh, so you're also Secretary Wang's mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, they're not married yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they will get married. Both Secretary Zhou and Secretary Wang are good people. <laughs> uh, they're helping us to develop and get rich. We should all be thanking you. Yes, yeah, true, you know. <laughs> Our village can be transformed because of Secretary Joe and Secretary Wong. Right. <laughs> Look how excited you are. <laughs> Aunt, welcome to Gumo Village. Wong Min. Ah. Nice to see you. How are you? Feeling the altitude? A little bit. Then you have to walk slowly. Okay. <laughs> Dad, uh, let me introduce you. This is Secretary Joe Lin's mother, Miss Lu of China Mobile. Aunt, this is my father. Is he Uncle Risa? Oh, yes. Oh, Uncle Risa, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Please, come yeah, in. Yeah, come in, please. Okay. Come in, Mom. Please, yes, come uh, in. Come on. Whose house is this? Uh, Risa's house. Oh, this is my house. It's uh, Muga's house. Uh, right, right, right. Dad, say a few words. Okay. <laughs> According to the rules of ye people, on behalf of the Mahai family, I'd like to toast to our guests. <laughs> Uh, uh, Chido. It, it means drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Risa. Uh, uh, Jolin and Wang Min both work here. Thank you and the villagers for taking care of them with such kind people as their friends. I don't need to worry. So, I'd like to propose a toast to you. And to all of you. Okay, let's have a toast together. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Uh, sit, sit, sit. Please, sit down. To be honest, I'm not here today just to take pictures. Muga invited me to come. He gave me a chance to to see the changes here in Gumo Village. Because Zhou Lin worked here before, and Wang Min is working here now, I saw your new road and the beautiful Yi Inns. 
I really could see the changes in Gumo Village since the start of rural development. I also felt that it was not easy for them to work here. <laughs> Just now I met those two villagers over at the big stone up on the hillside. <laughs> I know that the lack of a network has been very difficult for you all. And did you know the lack of coverage here? It's had a direct impact on the economy of the village. And tourism, if it's not connected to the internet, it's like a car without tires or an airplane without wings. Yes. So I hope that you can understand the villager's need for a proper network. I understand. It's very obvious to me. When I get back tomorrow, I will discuss with the staff at the Planning and Design Center and help you get a base station as soon as possible. Really? That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, cheers. 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 Thank you cheers. very cheers. much. Cheers. 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 Mom, congratulations. You have so many friends in Gumo. Nobody can say you have no friends anymore. <laughs> you brat. Uh, enjoy, everyone. Uh, this is Tuatua Mead I told you about. Tuatua Mead. Uh, it's our native cuisine. Uh, Have a taste. Okay. Uh, it's stronger here. Hurry up. Let's go take a look. Uh, what about over there? Uh, is that okay? Wait, wait. Hey, take a look. I don't understand. No, we don't understand. Just tell us. Well... According to the survey, this site is the best for a base station, right here. The signal can cover the whole village. And this area within two kilometers can receive the signal. Really? Yeah. Two kilometers? It has a wide range. Ah. Uh, engineer, uh, are there any other options? Could it go some other place? You see, this is the shortest distance to set up optical cables. You can save the most cost. Look, the terrain here is relatively flat. Because you want to develop the tourism industry, it can not only cover the lake area, but also the whole valley and the forest. So it's the best place to build the base station. Ah. Oh. But it'll be on our villagers' land. Will it be appropriate? It doesn't make sense to change to other places. You don't have to worry about land occupation. According to state regulations, we'll make corresponding compensation. Ah. Oh. So you just need to coordinate the location and the transmission. And we can start work right away. Okay, okay. I'll go back to the village committee and report to them. There'll be no problem. So you mean the base station will be built on my land? Yes, that's what the engineer said. It's the shortest distance and lowest cost to set up optical cables there. And he said it has a wide signal coverage. And not only is there a signal in our village, but also in the old forest by the lake. This is the conclusion of a two-day survey by the engineers. It won't be wrong. Huh. They're reporting back. They've asked us to cooperate with the uh, land acquisition. Well, I'll go to China Mobile as soon as possible to get the acquisition contract. After you sign it, we can get on with the work. Okay. I'll go back and discuss with my father. It should be fine. Okay. Agarisa, are you busy? Hey, are you going out? Uh, we won't be back for lunch. We'll come back this afternoon. Okay. Hey, listen to my advice. When you go walking, don't go near the lake. The lake is deep. It's dangerous. Uh, rest assured, Agarisa. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye now. Going out? Yeah. Fine. Uh, don't forget oh, dinner. Okay, fine. Dad! You're back. <laughs> Dad. I have good news. What is it? Look. The engineers from China Mobile came to our village, and uh, the base station is arranged. The construction will begin in a few days. So fast? Yeah. Great. Um, if the base station could be built soon, and the village has signal, it'll be great for us. Yes. 
The phone you gave me is just an alarm clock. I can't use any other functions yet. It will be available when the network is set. Look, this is the network coverage map. Yes? Uh, the lakeside, the mountains, uh -huh. and the old forest will all have coverage. Uh -huh. So good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dad, uh -huh. I need to talk to you. What's up? After the results of the survey, the engineers found that the best place to build the base station was on our land. Uh, what? Huh? Where? Uh, our land. Uh, uh, let me explain. It only takes around 100 square meters of land, and land occupation is paid. The state will compensate us. The compensation for resettlement and the occupation will be a lot. If you think it's okay, after we sign the contract, the construction will begin. Stop. Stop. I don't think it's okay. Leave the map with me. I need to think about it. Yeah. All right. I brought it over to discuss. <laughs>